What's up, everyone? Antoine Fantoine here, internet's busiest music nerd. You know who it be. And I hope you're doing well. We're gonna do a bit of a track review here. New Animal Collective track, new album on the way. The gang is all here. <sighs> You might know these guys. They are a wonderful indie and neo-psychedelia group. They've dropped numerous fantastic albums over the years, although in my opinion, their last one, kind of rough, not really the biggest fan of it. And I notoriously have not really been that into a lot of the Animal Collective solo projects to have been released over the years. The only thing that keeps me interested in the group is that when they convene together to make an Animal Collective album, it's usually pretty good. And they've had way more hits than misses when it's come to group albums. So once again, I'm looking forward to a new Animal Collective record, especially given that this new single over here titled Florida Da is good. A few things about this track. Sonically, aesthetically, I feel like the group is kind of going back to that strawberry jam kind of vibe, which, uh, it's sort of weird to think that that album is as old as it actually is now. But the sound of this track is very nutty, it's very organic, it's very cacophonous. Maybe not as odd as some of that Sung Tongs, Feels, Strawberry Jam era stuff, but it certainly seems to be going back in that direction. They've got that old school vocal layering that you typically expect from Animal Collective's 2000s era music as well. And simultaneously, while this track is kind of left field, it's kind of odd, it's insanely poppy, sort of on the level of poppiness and instantaneousness as a lot of those Meriwether Post Pavilion songs. I would actually say that this track is even more readable in some ways, especially given that the hook is so freaking sing-along even on the first listen. Now the sounds worked into this track, they're very flavorful, they're very fun, it's densely packed and it feels like each piece of instrumentation, of melody, of percussion is actually working together instead of against one another, which I felt was very much the case on Centipede Hurts. The gurgly bass on this song, the skipping persistent percussion, the harmonious synthesizers, all of the different vocals playing into this track, they all have their own role and place in the mix. There's no competition here. There's no disarray going on here in the music. It's all really tight, despite it just feeling kind of oddball and off kilter. I think the one noisy moment on the record is where we're kind of getting some horns at the three minute mark or some very strange synthesizer arpeggios, which are kind of drowning out the music and are progressively getting louder and louder and louder and don't really fit into what the music is, is doing chord wise or melody wise, but it's just adding a little bit of noise. It kind of rushes up and disappears, creating a bit of a soundgasm in the song. And the track goes into its final choruses before it ends on a very tight finish. Overall, it's a good track. Track. Don't really have much in the way of complaints about this song, and I guess I'm looking forward to the next Animal Collective record, which I think all of you should be as well. In, in this new age of internet music fandom, I feel like we're just too quickly getting sick of these groups who used to make fantastic music, and by all means could still be making fantastic music, and uh, there's just no reason to, to really give up on Animal Collective or anything like that. So, 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 so give this record a freaking chance, okay? So, yeah. That's it. You're the best. Anthony Fantano, Animal Collective, Transition. What did you think of this track? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? And are you uh, excited for this new Animal Collective record painting with? Let me know. You're the best. Anthony Fantano, Animal Collective, forever. Hey everyone, you know who it is, Anthony Fantano, coming on here to tell you about our brand new website, which we dropped earlier this year, so it's not brand brand new, but the good people at Squarespace are the reason that we have it, and there is a link down there in the description box where you can get at a discount your own website for your home business, personal hobby, whatever. And I'm also here to tell you that on this website brought to us by Squarespace, we also have a playlist that we released pretty recently. It is a Bjork playlist starter pack. So if you've been kind of waiting to get into Bjork, you don't exactly know where to start or anything like that, we have given you a series of tracks that are worth checking out and should get you well on your way to becoming the world's most preeminent Bjork expert. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for loving. Thank you for hating. Have a nice day forever.